So somaveritan is um, a long-acting growth hormone um, treatment for kids with growth hormone deficiency and uh, um, phase two extended into um, the extension trial was at a higher dose that is the dose that will be used in phase three. And so um, we're hoping that you know, we have good information about how kids are growing on this dose that will then be confirmed in the phase three head to head with growth hormone daily. In the phase one trial, um, there was five milligrams per kilogram per month. And um, that was given either weekly, twice a month, or monthly. And then um, in, that was used to select the um, two and a half milligrams per kilogram twice a month. And then uh, by a year into the trial, it was three and a half milligrams per kilogram per, uh, twice per month. And that's the dose that's actually going into phase three and that we have the most data on for both safety and efficacy in the extension trial. And when I tell families that we have to take a shot every day, that's usually like a, a what moment. <laughs> um, first they think it's a pill, then they think, oh, it's a shot, but we can do go to the doctor once a month or something like that. And uh, when they realize that it's every day, it's, it's kind of a, a shock. And mm -hmm. so, when we look at compliance for kids um, on growth hormone daily, um, the estimates range everywhere from, you know, we miss half of our shots to three quarters of our shots. I think it, you know, if we look at uh, good data, it's still probably 15% of our shots. And so if we think about how well do kids grow, we're not growing as well as they could because they're not getting all of their shots. It's just life gets in the way. You, you, you don't get all of the injections. So I think that having a long-acting product is going to be really crucial for families. So if you can take an injection twice a month, mm -hmm. that instead of uh, 365 days a year, that's a huge change for families. And so I think that'll improve compliance. I also think that it'll improve um, how the kids grow just because they're getting more of their growth hormone uh, consistently. So kids receiving growth hormone for growth hormone deficiency, um, at, at least in the trials, started as young as age three, although we have some children with growth hormone deficiency as infants who need growth hormone from the very beginning. Um, and most kids finish around 15 for girls and 17 for boys. Um, at that point, some kids are still going to be growth hormone deficient as adults, and they'll need retesting to see is this something they're going to have to take for their whole life and um, uh, so that's a small percentage of children but uh, um, some of them need it need it long term 